up you guys, The Curious Owl here, and today I am going to be sharing with you guys my July TBR. So my July TBR is going to be basically split into like three major groups. The first is going to be for the Book Junkie Trials, which is going on over the entire course of July. Then I also have books that I'm going to be reading for the Biannual Bibliothon, which starts on July 11th and goes till either the 19th or the 20th, I don't remember off the top of my head. And then obviously any other books that I would like to try to read. My TBR for this month is 25 books and I believe almost 10,000 pages. <sighs> so first things first, I am on Team Mage for the Book Junkie Trials. The first book I'm going to be reading within the Book Junkie Trials is going to be called All We Knew But Couldn't Say by Joanne Vanicola, I believe. This is a e-arc that I was given through NetGalley. This is going to complete my Orc Grove Challenge for my Magi Team quest, which is to read a book that is gruesome, gory, or gritty. This is a adult contemporary, I believe, that focuses on some very, very hard to swallow topics such as like sexual abuse. So it's probably going to be very gritty and very gruesome. The next book that I would like to try to complete within the Book Junkie Trials is finishing up A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. At this point in my reading, I'm on page 355. So I am a little more, I think, than a quarter of the way through the book. This is going to be counting for my Old Pirate Road Challenge, which is to read a story at sea as a lot of the story actually does it points if it takes place at sea or at least the chapter I have read prior to this challenge starting was at sea like there was a small portion of the book at sea basically the next book that I am going to be reading for the book junkie trials is called spin the dawn by Elizabeth Lim this is another arc I was given on NetGalley that is going to be a new release at the very beginning of July I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it before it comes out, but this is for the Glimmer Challenge, which is to read a book that has a colorful or beautiful cover. Oh my god, I just love the design of this cover so much. It is so pretty and so interesting that I just, I could not not pick it for this challenge. The next book I'm going to try to read is A Feast of Crows by George R. R. Martin. Yeah, I'm going to try to use two books in the Song of Ice and Fire series for my challenges. That's going to be an interesting time. But this is for the Draconic Isles challenge, which is to read a book that features dragons because obviously we got Daenerys' dragons in this story and, and they're quite interesting characters. They're, they're very cute and fun and I like them a lot. And the final book completing my Magi Quest portion of the Book Junkie Trials is to read the group book, which is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I am a little nervous going into this because I've only read two Neil Gaiman books in my life. And Ocean at the End of the Lane was interesting, but I have a very hard time, I think, with just Neil Gaiman's writing. I really liked Coraline. I thought it was good, but Ocean at the End of the Lane was one of those books that I kind of just didn't know what to do with. So I hope that Stardust is going to be better in that regard. But that works for me because one of my weaknesses as a magi is that I have to read something outside of my comfort zone and Neil Gaiman is very much outside of my comfort zone. Now we're going to move on to books that are going to complete for both the Buy and Bibliothon and also count for challenges with the Book Junkie Trials that are not part of my mage quest. And the first one is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is actually the group book for the Buy and Bibliothon's final round. This is also going to be counting for the challenge in the Book Junkie Trials called The Drowning Deep, which is to read a rich world building book and because this is kind of sci-fi based I have a good feeling that this one's gonna have some pretty rich world building aspects to it. The next book I'm going to be reading is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This is one of my most anticipated books from like the last few years and this is also the host pick, one of the host picks for the Buy New Bibliothon. I think this was Brittany's pick and it is also going to count for the Great Library Challenge for the Book Junkie Trials which is to read something that's been on your TBR for a long time and this one definitely has been up there as like one of the longest awaited TBR reads. The next book that I'm going to read is the audiobook for Crazy House by James Patterson and I believe Gabrielle Charbonnet and this is to complete the Elven Guard Challenge for the uh, Book Junkie Trials which is to read a book with war, military, or uh, political themes. This one I believe is placed in a, in a world where there's some kind of like government control of some kind so I thought that that would be a really good way to 
weave in a new James Patterson that I've not read yet. The next book that I'm going to read is called this In the Shadow of Spindrift House, which is by Mira Grant, I believe. This is a very creepy atmospheric story. And because I know it's going to be very atmospheric, I decided to pick it for the challenge in the book junkie trials called Hollow Isle, which is to read an atmospheric or horror based book. And I think this one's going to be pretty creepy because the cover's pretty creepy. <laughs> The next challenge is The Empty Barrel Inn, which is to read an indulgent read. For this I'm picking Wherever She Goes by Kelly Armstrong because this is supposed to be a psychological thriller. And y'all know I love me some psychological thrillers. The next challenge for the Book Junkie Trials I'm going to try to complete is The Giant Squid Challenge, which is to read an intimidating read. And for this one, I'm gonna try to finish the series. I swear to God, I'm gonna try to do it this month. The next challenge I would like to complete with the Book Junkie Trials is the Crimson Peaks Challenge, which is to reread a favorite. And for this, I am finally going to hopefully get back to the Morganville Vampires and read the second novel, Dead Girls Dance by Rachel Kane. Continuing with the Morganville Vampires, I also will be reading Midnight Alley for the Forgotten Forest Challenge, which is to read the next book in the series. The next challenge is going to be The Weeping Falls, which is to read a tear-inducing book, which is going to be, I think, A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. This was my May TBR pick, and I know I'm going to start reading my TBRs kind of out of order, but I tried to build this TBR the best way I could by incorporating as many books as I needed to read within it, and I felt like this one fit the tear-inducing aspect very well because I've heard so many people talk about how this one's very, very sad in a lot of ways because it's about these two brothers who are foster brothers who are torn apart and at some point they come back together and one of them has OCD and I'm just I'm ready to have my heart slightly broken by the sweet sweet novel. The next challenge is the Apothecary Tower challenge which is to read a random book. Now for this I decided to draw a random TBR pick but I got way too impatient last night to do it today so I already drew it. The Birth of Venus by Sarah Dunant. This is supposedly like a historical fiction novel. The next challenge for the book junkie games is Dwarf Mount, which is to read a book with a hint of romance. And for this I'm picking Bo and Bet by Catherine Burla, I think is her name. I think that's the author's name. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And when I saw this on that galley, I had to snatch it up so quick because if you guys don't know, Beauty and the Beast is one of my most favorite Disney movies. The final challenge for the Book Junkie Child is the Queendom Stone Challenge, which is to read a book with royalty. And for this, I have an arc that specifically fits this, and that is An American Duchess by Carolyn Fife. This is essentially what I would consider like the Meghan Markle, is that her name, um, of books, because it's basically the same kind of story almost of her marriage to Prince Harry, because the story follows a American woman who is essentially whisked off to England to marry a duke, and, uh, chaos kind of ensues from there. Now to officially end the Book Junkie Trials books, I'm going to move on to a few of the books I'm going to be also reading for the Buy and Bibliothon that are not counting for the Book Junkie Trials. And the first one is Monsters Volume 1 by Marjorie Liu. This is going to complete two challenges for the Buy and Bibliothon. The first one being to read a graphic novel and the second being to read a book that you've never, you never would have picked. Um, if it hadn't been for somebody or someone talking about it basically and I don't think I would have picked up this one because It's very gory apparently and very horror filled, but I've heard so many good things about this graphic novel series The next book I'm going to be reading is going to be called Aftershock by Marco Cluse This is I believe a young adult sci-fi and this is going or no This is an adult sci-fi Excuse me because it is going to count for a challenge to read an adult book for the by a bibliothon this book is also going to count for the challenge of reading a book from an author you've never read, as I believe this is his debut novel, if I'm not mistaken. The next book I'm going to read is called David Mogo God Hunter, which is to also count for two challenges in the Buy Any Bibliothon, which is to read a predicted five star read, because I think I'm going to love the crap out of this book based on the synopsis of it, which I can't remember off the top of my head and also to pick a book that is a cover read. And I love this cover. It's so bright and fun and looks super inviting, but it's probably gonna be one of those stories where it's gonna scare the crap out of me at some points. Okay, so all of the challenge books are done. Now I'm gonna move into the books that I'm just reading if I can get to them at some point in the month, which 
knowing me is probably not gonna happen, but I am believing in myself this month. It is my birthday month. I deserve to do a lot of reading. The first one is to read Feast of Fools, which is the fourth book in the Morganville Vampire series by Rachel Kane, and then also read Lord of Misrule, the fifth book, because I want to try to catch myself back up. And at this point in July, I should be on book five. Next is reading Smoke in the Sun by Renee Adier. This was my March TBR pick and is the second novel in the Flame in the Mist duology. I have been waiting to read this for a long time and I really need to get to it. Next is then to read Jacoby by William Ritter, which is the first novel in the Jacoby series and was my April TBR pick. And last, but certainly not least, and is going to be a freaking miracle if I can finish it in the day that I plan on finishing it, is Cinder by uh, Marissa Meyer. I almost forgot her name. <laughs> this was my June TBR pick that I did not get to, but if I stick to the reading schedule that I have now, I should hopefully somehow finish this on the 31st. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I think I might be cutting it close, but I'm gonna try my damnedest. So, long-winded as that was, those are all 25 of the books I plan on reading this month. If I have the ability to listen to more audiobooks, I think I will definitely work with that for several of these books, especially once I finish my uh, Magi Quest ones. I definitely think that's going to be how I might get through a lot of these. Anyway, let me know if you guys are competing in either the Book Junkie Trials or the Buy a New Bibliothon, or if you're not at all, let me know what you guys are just reading down in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you liked any of these books, and what you thought of them let me know also down there anyway thank you guys so much for joining me if you guys did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our flock and i will see all of you guys in my next video bye guys